This is a continuation of the video for Tuesday, August 9th, 2016. If you're catching this first, go catch part one. I will label them, of course. So, um, with the tower, where I, where I left off, with the tower, over the word sex, and the rune that indicates victory, success, overcoming obstacles, I really feel like when you two see each other, it's going to be like that, bam, I know you. Oh my God, I'm so intrigued by you. It's going to be that instant magnetic draw where everything that you thought you knew doesn't even come into play because this person right now is all you can see and you either are going to be having sex or thinking about sex when you see this water sign person that I was talking about in the first video. This is a really powerful reading. Now, for someone else on a different level, okay, because that was the whole relationship, love and relationship level. On a different level, on August the 9th, um, you have been really doing your creative visualization to manifest things and you have been working on this project for a long time. You've been um, noticing the synchronicities that have been coming to you. You've got a lot of power, energy put into it. You've been journaling, you've been writing, you've been, uh, you may have a vision board. Um, you've been fantasizing of this moment. And so now this thing that you're so emotionally invested in, it arrives and you know you have success. And it's because of all this visualization that you've gotten so this is just part of your life now. Visualizing this great accomplishment is part of your life now. And sex being underneath the tower in regards to that, to me, it's like, here it is. It's time to start over again. For me, um, sex is when the relationship is solidified with this, this situation or circumstance that you're bringing about. And it is about the actual receptivity because if you think about sex the physical act it's the one part receiving the other part and so there is an intercourse that happens so what you've been visualizing is intercoursing with your real everyday life and it is going to be uh, causing some things I mean it's gonna just come as a, a shock and a surprise that's what it is it's gonna be a shock and a surprise so that that's really awesome let me just see if i pick up on, on a, a third storyline for this let me just look at this for a minute i i really strongly am feeling like there's a water sign person involved here and they are traveling to you we have the journey we have the horse and so and we have accomplishment and the eighth of eight of pentacles underneath I really feel like it is definitely some and if you really like you quit you quit going on the dating sites you quit trying to meet somebody you just live in your life exploring all the things that you're passionate about um, seeing spending time with this friend that family member this hobby uh, you're taking your time for meditation you're doing all these great things that you love for yourself you're doing all that you you're really used to it now and then you, you're going about your life and then BAM crash here's this water sign person and it's really gonna take you by surprise but it's gonna be a beautiful thing and you will know that this is something that you are supposed to have happen in your life so happy to do this reading for you. I'm going to see if I could splice these two together. You will know if I have or have not. I don't even know why I'm telling you that. But yes, love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.